All right, hi there, Björk van Benediksen from Audio Issues and author of Step by Step Mixing here, back with another part of our Yuletide Christmas song mixing series, uh, or basically just a mixing one-on-one sort of session uh, in for for 12 days or so. If you're just joining us, I would recommend starting at the beginning and going to the first video in the series, and so you can sort of hear the song develop as we're working our way through the mix. Today we're going to be looking at acoustic guitars. We're going to do some acoustic guitar mixing, uh, so hopefully you will find that useful. So let's just get into the video, stop chit-chatting here, and uh, let's start working on some acoustic guitars. All right, let's add the uh, acoustic guitars in. That's sort of an ugly frequency, 800 at, at, in sort of this DI'd guitar sound, so I'm going to take that out. Honestly, I should probably just uh, do a bus for these. That's because it's the same. Like it's an X Y. I really want. I really want to use one one thing. So I might actually make a bus for um, acoustic guitar. Uh, I I still did add saturation and compression and EQ on this one, but I'm going to bus this to the acoustic guitar. Uh, great, what, what is it called? Oh, it's, it needs to be bus. Um, 89997, but six, nine, eight, seven. Okay, so 10. As you can see, it is easier to, uh, and it saves a lot of time if you have a template already, because then you don't have to do any of these things again. But anyway, let's put this acoustic guitar in, in action. <laughs> There's that sort of sort of sound that uh, uh, I'm not particularly fond of, so I'm going to try to find that. Actually, I'm going to use this part of the EQ. <laughs> It's kind of like, and then when it's cut, it's a little cleaner. So 300 is sort of this honky, honkiness, uh, at least in this case. So let's, uh, I want to add some more tone to it, maybe some warmth and then some brightness.
completely screwed it up. All right, hang on. Here I took the acoustic guitar amp out just to um, just to be able to hear the X Y uh, recording because I am um, also trying to not make it clash with the bass. That was why I went back and forth in that EQ earlier uh, because I was, uh, as I was adding more of that low mid weight and warmth to the acoustic guitar, I felt like it was clouding out the bass. I love this deesser to use it uh, just as like it's kind of a an additional EQ that's you know I'm trying to make it so that it's taking away or making room for the bass there in the low mids. Just the one dB up here. Just want to see how it sounds. One B dB. Up. sounding better I actually want to put the span on here on the mix bus or on the master bus where is it uh, Voxengo span there we go uh, I'm going to put it on this uh, master and then three just going to see the overall frequency bounce as it is now. It's obviously not going to be a lot of stuff in the high mids because there's no vocals and, and stuff like that. <laughs> Still sounds good in mono. All right, let's stop right there before I put the mandolin in there and uh, try to layer some of the sort of a 
mandolin -y feel to that acoustic guitar rhythm. That's all in the next video that we'll be dropping tomorrow, so please watch that. And if you're watching this way uh, in the future, it's probably in a playlist on the right here. So check it out there, and I'll see you tomorrow. If you want more from me, go to stepbystepmixing.com and get your copy of the book. Or you can start also by going to mixfinisher.com and getting my free mix translation cheat sheet there. All right, that's it for today. See you in the next video.